Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on trial and improvement. We're going to be using the table mode on the calculator to help solve a trial and improvement question which are quite common on the maths GCSE. Here we have a typical question where we have to give our answer to one decimal place. We're going to access the table mode on the calculator, press mode and then 3 to access the table function. You should see at fx equals, that's your q to add your function of x. In this case, it's x cubed minus x. Use the alpha and right bracket buttons to input x. Press equals and we'll ask for a start figure. In this example, it's 4, the figure we're given in the table. Our end figure will be the next whole number up, so in this case 5. And our step is going to be 0 0.1 to represent one decimal place. Press equals and here we have our table. When x is 4, f of x is 60. This is the example one that was given originally in our table. If we scroll down to 5, we can see that f of x would be 120. So we can put that in as our next value. Our comment would be that that is too large as we're looking for 100 in this example. If we go to 4.7, we can see that's just below 100. And we can see that 4.8 is just above 100. These are going to be our critical values. So we'll add those to the table. You can scroll right to the f of x column to get a fuller calculator display. Now our answer, because we just want one decimal place, is either going to be 4.7 or 4.8. So the question is which one of these answers will our actual value round to? For the correct answer, we need to go through our table mode trial process once again. Press AC but just once. Pressing it twice will clear off your f of x and that might cost you some time. It's slightly counterintuitive but it will take you back to the beginning of the process. Press equals and this time our start value is 4.7. Our end value is 4.8 and our step is going to be 0 0.01 so that we can get values between 4.7 and 4.8. Press equals and here we have our table again. I can see from the table that our actual value should be somewhere between 4.71 and 4.72. If I wanted to, I could put 4.72 as my final trial and say that's too large, but it's always a safe bet to go halfway between the two values, so in this case 4.75. And I can use the navigation button to go to the right hand column and get my full calculator display. Now this is going to be too large as we were after a figure of 100. The reason why 4.75 is a good value is because it's halfway between our two critical values of 4.7 and 4.8, our actual value is somewhere where the arrow is on a number line, and we can see quite clearly on the number line that our value would round down to 4.7, and that would be our final answer, uh, 4.7 to one decimal place. Keep a lookout for a second trial and improvement video coming soon. Don't forget that you can subscribe for future videos and that you can follow the calculator guide at Guide Calculator on Twitter. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time on the Calculator Guide.